Jazz Clemens, and welcome back to Let's Put the Sims 4 Get to Work Part 15. So, in the last part, we went to work with Dawn and Oran. And in the beginning, I did this little intro thing. So, if you guys didn't notice, I gave everyone some makeovers, and I also redid the house a little bit because we did have some extra simoleons. And I just got a bunch of custom content, and I was like, hey, why do I, why don't I just redecorate some of the house? Because it was kind of looking a little boring. So, I wanted to give you guys a little closer look, and this nasty plate is just chilling over here. Not today. Not today. So, this is the living room. Um, it was looking pretty bad before. Not gonna lie, it was looking pretty fugly before, so I just kind of changed it up, gave it a different theme, kind of like a green, purple, tan theme going on. I really like it. And then I actually also got these like really cute calendars. I know it's July now, but June. June. Just June. <laughs> so I also redid the kitchen a little bit. I gave it some new wallpaper and I redid the counters and there's also another June calendar there and he's a little custom content wall ornament I guess and I, get, I did get some custom content rugs and they're really cute so yeah so uh, I did give oh whoa no hair no hair, work in the no hair. I did get Aubrey a new outfit, so why don't I change her into it? If she would change, okay. So, uh, this is Aubrey's little new outfit. I think it's adorable. I got, I just like went on a custom content shopping spree, so <laughs> that's what I did. And I got her these really cute nails, if you can see them. They're adorable. They're on their Sims resource. They're adorable. So, and someone over here looks totally different with this new hair. They didn't have his hair in his color, but I was like, you know what? He's working the platinum blonde look. So, this is Johnny now. He looks pretty different now, but hey, he's working it. He is working the hair. And I did give Dawn some new hair as well, but she's in the shower for now, so I'm going to wait till she gets out. And I did redo Oran's little human getup. So why doesn't he come over here? So change outfit. No, not your athletic. No. Change it to your everyday. There we go. So I did change his outfit a little bit. And oh my gosh, what is this face? What is this face? Could you not? <laughs> Okay, that was a really weird face, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat, but yeah, that's him. I'm going to have him go use the bathroom. Is Dawn out of the shower yet? Yes, she is. So this is Dawn's new look. I gave her some long hair because she is working it. Like, look at her. Supermodel status. Hello. And I just gave her some new clothes and some really cute shoes. Like, yes, honey, yes, work it. So, yeah, this is kind of what happened in the in between, and I did skip a day, and nothing really happened. So, it is Johnny's turn to go to work today. Nobody else has work today except for Johnny, and tomorrow we're going to go out and try to figure out what we're going to do because we do have, everyone has the day off tomorrow. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. And Johnny doesn't go to work for two more hours, so everyone's just getting ready for the day. Um, Aubrey, you're just kind of chilling. Let's see, can you read your little book of baking? Where is it? Is it over here? No, it's not. Over here. Oh, wait, is it right here? Yes, it is. Great. So why don't you go ahead and read? Oh, she already read, she already read it. Okay. Well, she's super cool as being level 5 baking, so I'm going to have her go ahead and bake something. So, let's have her bake some... Hmm. Let's do some peanut butter cookies. And then Johnny, he's just trying to get ready for his work day because he's going to be leaving soon. How long is he going to be leaving? Or how? 39 minutes, so he's got a little ways to go. And, oh my goodness, Oran, you're having, like, a horrible day today. Like, 
your fun is going way down. I should probably have him remove his disguise because he is at home, so why don't you go back to your alien cell? I didn't change his alien state just because I thought, hey, why not? <laughs> Lazy, but yeah, I kind of liked his alien state the way it was, so he can just stay like that if he wants to. And, oh, Dawn is feeling on challenge because she's a genius, so, you know, she has to be challenged all the time. And actually, also, I really want to redo the bathrooms because look how ugly they are. <laughs> look how ugly this is. Please, look at the rest of the house, okay? Look at the house. And then look at the bathroom. It's so ugly. Same for the bathroom downstairs, too. Like, it's so plain and ugly. I, oh, oh. I just want to redo them. Just, I just want to redo them. So when we get our next splurge of money, I'm going to redo these bathrooms because they're ugly. They're ugly. Yes, I said it. They're ugly. Everyone was thinking it. Ugly. <laughs> so Aubrey has now reached the baking level five and she can now bake carrot bread, lemon bars, carrot cake, spinach, and mushroom qu quiche. Quiche? Quiche? <laughs> potato bread, spinach, onion quiche in a kitchen. And she can also bake cream filled donuts, plain scores, jelly filled donuts at the cupcake factory. Cool. Hey. That is pretty cool. But it is almost time for Johnny to get to work. So, yeah, get to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> I will see you guys once we get into work. Okay, okay. guys, so we are at Johnny's work and he's trying to go and play some chess but we actually need to get an assignment so why don't we head over here and kick this girl off the computer and get a case assignment and who was this chick over here oh my gosh it's the old lady and she got her new hair girl love the hair dye you're working that hairstyle that's actually Adeline's hairstyle that I have in my challenge so that's pretty funny she stole Adeline's hair. Adwin? Yes, Adwin. Adeline. She stole Adeline's hair. That girl. Mm -mm. So he's going to get a case assignment. Is this a new interaction? I forget. I mean, he's a level 4 detective. So apparently he got a case assignment. I think this is normal. Yeah. So I guess we have to go to the crime scene. Right? I'm confused. I haven't played with the police career in a little while, so, okay. Apparently we already have evidence, so, okay. Let's just go with it. Wait, what the heck? Is this new? Is this new? Is this new? This looks new. Okay. Okay. So, apparently they want him to analyze evidence, but I don't have any. Well, actually, I do. So, why don't we just go analyze some evidence? Because I usually like to look at the ev Like, I usually like to follow this little box up here because it usually leads you on what you need to do. So, I'm just going to do that. Wait, what? why did it pause? I did not hit the pause. Unless I did, then. Oh, oops. Oops, doodles. Apparently, this is a new thing. Like, is he. He's a detective. Okay. So. Because I feel like this is new. Like, this whole entire thing here is new. But okay. Johnny and Araceli don't know each other yet. Well. There's a reason. There is a reason why you two don't know each other. And it's because of you. Miss Araceli. <laughs> so, analysis success. The analysis has produced useful clues about the crime. Cool. So, I guess we have to add some clues now. I don't know. I feel like that thing is new up there, but I guess not. Ooh. They're fighting. Unpleasant conversation. Get out of there. Get out of there and go add the new clue. Come come on. Don't do this to me. Add clues. Nah. G 
Get out my way, Araceli. You're just a lab tech. <laughs> so, yeah, why don't we just put that up there? Apparently, we don't need to go to the crime scene because we already have clues, so... Okay. Johnny has discovered that the suspect has gray hair. <gasps> Is it Araceli? She dyed her hair. Maybe she, maybe it was Araceli and she dyed her hair. Just so we wouldn't catch her. You sneaky. You sneaky little one. Oh my goodness, there's a computer. In front of your face. Okay. So I'm going to cross-reference some data. So cross-reference to police. Let's do some crime witness reports. Kick this guy off the computer. Go sit down. The drill. The work life. You know, it's kind of a typical day for the police. Kind of, you know, solving crimes. And what are you doing? It looks like you're on a dating website. What are you doing? You're a police officer. You're not supposed to be on a dating website. Goodness. Mr. Frankie. <laughs> Really has to do it again. No, I'm not doing that again. I'm going to go analyze some evidence again. So let's go analyze some more evidence. And let's do a sample this time instead of a fingerprint. And I've been playing around with my current household. And one of my sims is a doctor. And they've been like not diagnosing people right. And I'm so scared in this LP because I do not want to like not diagnose people right. Because it's so hard to tell with me. Like, I just cannot tell. And it's scary. Like, I'm like, please be the right sickness. I don't want to get fired. <laughs> it's really, it's really weird. Like, one of these sims had the triple threat. Or at least I thought they had the triple threat. And they went to surgery. My sim completely failed. And I was like, oh my gosh. Get out of here. But yeah, that was, that happened. So why don't we wait for Mr. Johnny to get done with analyzing his evidence. And he is getting a little hungry, but that's okay. Did we fail? Oh no! Well, we don't have any clues to add, do we? Apparently we do have room to add clues, okay. Johnny has discovered the suspect is wearing slacks. Well, that's an interesting fashion choice. Did they change the board? I feel like they changed the board. Or is this just me? Whatever. Whatever. So we're going to analyze some more samples. Try to see who's got it. I don't know what slacks look like. Okay, why are you trying to play chess up in here? You are a police officer. Stop it. You're trying to solve this case. What does slacks look like? I forgot. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. I'm like, yeah, what does slacks look like? Wow. I'm going to Google it. <laughs> oh, I'm pathetic. I probably know what they are. Oh, great. What I just pulled up was Leslie Nope falling from- wow. Wow. That was my last Google thing. Someone falling down a mountain. Not, not a mountain, a pit. Okay, so... Apparently we need to travel to the crime scene now? Okay. Apparently we're going to the crime scene. So... I'll see you guys once we get to the crime okay, scene. Okay, so we are at the crime scene. And it looks like this is the goth household. Okay. What have you guys been doing? So, I'm going to come over here and get a witness report from this girl. So, why don't we... Or not. Apparently, that's not a witness. I thought it was a witness, though. No, apparently she's an officer, but she's wearing, like, these... This get up. I don't know what you're wearing, honey. That's kind of creepy. Oh, and I did look up what's. Oh my. The door just slammed in her face. Awesome. Oh, wait. Look at that beautiful hot pink eyeshadow. She is pretty. She is really pretty, though. 
I have Johnny introduce herself to her. Um, we're gonna give her a friendly introduction. Why does he try to keep playing chess? Could you not? Why is he in Alexander's room? Is this Alexander? Whoa, what am I saying? I almost said, is this Salamander's room? What? <laughs> what? I love how everybody has like these luxurious rooms and then Alexander's is just like a freaking attic. Like he's the Harry Potter of the family. Did that police officer not come and talk to us? Hello, we're trying to talk to you. Give her a friendly introduction. Goodness. Are there burn marks up here? What the heck? What the heck happened here? So apparently this guy's like heartbroken about something. <laughs> so we're gonna take a witness report from him. Why are all the police officers coming up here now? Oh, they're just playing chess, I guess. Let's get a witness report from you as well. His workday is almost done, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this whole entire crime scene done. Ooh, I, I really want to... Okay, can we get out on the roof? I don't think we can. So how about... Oh, there's something over here. So let me go search for clues over here. Come on. Get a move on. Doop, 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 doop. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Collect evidence sample. Oh my gosh, there's so many evidence over here. There's so much evidence! Yes! We're doing it. What is this girl doing? Get out of my way, you freaking tomato! What are you doing? What are you doing here? You're not allowed. You're not allowed in this place. No sorry. Not today. Okay, so we are back at home. And Johnny had a pretty nice day at work. He's so close to getting a promotion. I think one more day with the whole, you know, getting a really good grade on his work will get him into a promotion. So that's really cool. So my chair keeps squeaking in the background if you can't hear it. Like literally squeaking away um and did you try to make something no yeah so i think i'm gonna have her bake some more stuff let's have her bake oh i can't oh we need ingredients we need to start a garden that's what we need to do so in probably the next couple parts i'm probably gonna start a garden and i actually wanted to bring something up with you guys i know i just redecorated the house but I kind of wanted to do a little house challenge, like not now, but when they have more money and later in the LP, you guys can create some houses for them and I will pick out the winner and I will use the house in this LP. So I, I, it's not an official thing for at the moment. I mean, I'm thinking about doing it. So I will have like an announcement video about it. Probably like not soon, but later, but I've been thinking about it. And what, you know, what to do is basically just go in the gallery, use hashtag jazzicalness, GTW, get to work. Um, and just build a house for these people. But it's not for now, but you can build a house now if you want. But I don't know if I'm going to be doing it now or later. So I just want to give you guys a head up, heads up about it. And I kind of want to remodel this house too. Maybe make this bedroom go upstairs and have a little arts and crafts room and have separate rooms for everyone because I know down here is a little crowded. So I might actually move out these this room and make it a little craft room because I know that Oron has his little scientist career and they keep giving us these things to analyze stuff with. So I'm like, hey, why not? So. And I'm making upstairs and have, you know, separate bedrooms for them. We'll have to see. We will have to see, but for now, it's okay. 
I just wanted to throw that out there. Get it in the air, I guess. But yeah, um, I, I'm i still trying to get used to Johnny's makeover because look at him. He looks so different. He looks so different. Is everyone like screaming at each other? Could you not? Can we just be a big, humongous, happy family just for once? Oran, stop ruining everything. <laughs> I love how I just point him out. I'm like, Oran, I know it was you. I heard you screaming earlier. Not today. Can't ruin this family. But yeah, I, I, they're like almost halfway through their careers. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I know we haven't been playing with Aubrey's shop in a little while, but, or we haven't play, been playing with Aubrey's shop for a while. And I can just say that I'm, I'm waiting to play with it until we have a lot more money because I know with their salaries, they're going to be really good. Like their salaries are going to be really good and they're going to be making tons of money really soon. And I just want to wait until we're able to sustain Aubrey's shop a little more because it is a little hard to get into the retail career. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, because I do have some Sims that had the retail career and it was pretty hard to get things through so yeah so I just thought I'd bring that up Whew. that was a mouthful to say <laughs> so yeah I was just kind of chilling but I think I'm going to actually end this part here guys so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this part give this part a big fat thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet and if you want to be go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure to leave a lovely comment down below and tell me what you think of what I should do with their lives you know like their careers are gonna last forever so tell me what I what I should do with everyone you know yeah maybe we should have like an alien baby that'd be cool our sims haven't gotten abducted yet except for Dawn but yeah yeah <laughs> so I think I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.